This is Seven National News and in our top story, the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, inaugurate the 2 billion dirham Dubai Water Canal on Wednesday, which will connect Business Bay with the Arabian Gulf, passing through the heart of Dubai for three kilometres. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed was received by the Chairman of the Board and Executive Director of the Road and Transport Authority, His Excellency Mata Al Tire, and was briefed about the state-of-the-art tourist and commercial project, which will add six kilometres to Dubai's waterfront. The project will also see an area of over 80,000 square metres dedicated to public places and facilities, and will see a new shopping and entertainment centre linked through a uniquely designed bridge, more than 450 new restaurants, along with a wide array of luxurious marinas for yachts and four world-class hotels. All construction work of the project's infrastructure is set for completion in 2017 and is expected to attract 20 to 22 million visitors per year. Cancer is the third cause of death in the UAE after heart diseases and accidents. And as much as 40% of cancer fatalities can be avoided by prevention and early detection. As stated by Dr. Ahmed bin Kalban, the CEO of the primary healthcare sector at the DHA, who inaugurated the UAE Cancer Congress today. He added that the World Health Organization estimates that the number of global cancer fatalities are expected to rise to 13 million in 2030, compared to 7.6 million back in 2008. Experts reveal that the Arab region is still witnessing a significant rise in patients, which poses huge challenges for health institutions in order to continue their global discoveries, take urgent steps to develop curative practices, and curb the expansion and spread of the disease. The Congress today saw the attendance of over 750 doctors and specialists, where experts applauded the gathering, stating that networking, communicating, and exchanging experience are vital elements to promote healthcare in specialisations for cancer patients. Dedicated sessions today have shed light on proper nutrition for cancer patients, surgical removal of breast cancer, gastrointestinal cancer, lung cancer and breast cancer. The nursing programme for oncology also returns this year. Dubai is developing the world's largest man-made lagoon, which will be a part of the 7 billion US dollar Mohammed bin Rashid city project. The project will cover 40 hectares and is set to take over the 12 hectare lagoon in the Egyptian resort of Sharm El Sheikh, which currently holds the Guinness World Record title. According to reports, Crystal Lagoons has already started work and it hopes to finish it in 2020. The lagoon will offer water sports facilities and swimming in clear, filtered water, along with a Caribbean feel. And it will be positioned at the heart of the District 1 residential community in Mohammed bin Rashid City. Additionally, 80% of a show village is already complete that will go on display to investors that will showcase nine villas and a portion of the lagoon. 245 salons for both men and women in Dubai were found to be breaking the health and safety rules in August this year out of 900 inspection visits. A total of 182,500 dirhams in fines were handed out to violators, while the Dubai municipality also issued over 400 warnings. Official figures show that women's salons topped the number of violations, with 206 of them facing a total fine of 101,400 dirhams, with many using unauthorised products as well as unhealthy herbs and oils. Men's salons saw a total of 77,100 dirhams in fines, along with 104 warnings from 197 visits. Some of the penalties came from bad practices in hair waste disposal, bad practices in hand drying, washing and sanitising the equipment. 
The UAE ranks second in terms of visa-free travel in the Arab world. That's according to the latest Travel Restriction Index for 2013. Kuwait came out on top of Arab countries in terms of visa-free travel, with access to 77 countries, while UAE passports can visit 72 countries. Qatar then came in third place, followed by Bahrain, Saudi Arabia and Oman. The index places the UAE at the 56th position globally, up eight places from last year, and is expected to enter into the top 40 should the country win approval for visa-free access to 27 Schengen states as well as the UK. The index's top rank for 2013 is held jointly by Finland, Sweden and the UK, whose citizens can travel visa-free to 173 countries. Focus is the key to our success and overcoming the addiction of distraction. That's according to Brian Tracy, who inspired industry leaders during a motivational talk today that was hosted by TCOM Investments. Renowned motivational speaker Brian Tracy inspired participants with his, his advice on the importance of continuous innovation in the quest for professional excellence, as he stated that the best moments in life lie in one's future. Tracy stated that today's technological advances have continuously distracted us from our long-term thinking, as he emphasised the importance of focusing on long-term goals. He further stated that the quality of thinking will enable us to climb the ladder of success, while the quality of learning is our financial asset. To be very clear about what your goals are and the results you're trying to achieve, and then you have to discipline yourself to focus single-mindedly on one thing at a time until it's complete. If you can do that and make a habit of it, you can accomplish anything in the world. And if you can't, you'll always have to work for someone else who will supervise you. The law of probabilities goes back 300 years, and what it says is there's a probability that everything will happen. And you can dramatically increase the probabilities that you will be successful by learning more things and by trying more things and by persisting longer in achieving your goals. And your probabilities go up dramatically that you will succeed. I was amazed when I came to Dubai the first time, and now I'm even more amazed. I think you must have the biggest airport in the world, or almost the biggest airport, but the city is absolutely extraordinary. It's so beautiful, and so it's always a pleasure to be here. And finally, looking to other news now, the Farjum Foundation's new show at the DIFC played host to one of the most famous living artists in Iran today on Wednesday night. The collection, under the title of Memories of Destruction, selected works from Aydin Agdashlu, shows the artist's combination of contemporary popular imagery alongside ancient Persian art forms, including miniatures and calligraphy. Agdashlu is also a published author and illustrator, university faculty member, graphic designer, renowned critic and art consultant, and uses icons of Italian and Persian classical paintings. At the age of 14, he became a skilled reproduction artist and often would be commissioned to mend damaged paintings and calligraphy works. Years later, after perfecting and conceiving his own style, his works have been featured at numerous gallery openings, private collections and auction houses. Using tenure and experience, Agdashlu has played a prominent role in inspiring and inaugurating numerous art and cultural initiatives in Iran. The Farjan Foundation is open Sunday to Thursday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Farjan Foundation is really pleased to be exhibiting Aydin Agdashlu's work tonight. He's a very talented artist, art historian, curator, as well as a professor in Iran. Um, he's helped uh, establish the cultural scene there and is an expert on Islamic and contemporary Iranian art. Um, his pieces are about destruction, annihilation, obliteration, while also honoring the Western and Eastern histories at the same time.